G'day folks. In this video we're having a look at uh, my lathe at 3000 RPM trying to cut a 26 TPI thread and uh, trying to destroy itself. It's shaking that much. Here we go, it's 3000 RPM. Now this shaking is introduced by the acceleration and deceleration of the carriage. We have a look at this and this is slowed down and you can see that it's shaking terribly. That's at 3000 RPM. Now we'll have a look at it at 2000 RPM and you can see the shaking is greatly reduced. That's a third cut. Every fourth cut I've slowed it down. So you can see it a little better. There's still a bit of vibration there at 2000 RPM but it's nothing like it was at 3000 RPM. Lathe, lathe only weighs 140 kilos and this is 1500 RPM. This is the speed I actually ended up using and you can see there's not very much shaking around there at all. A little but not a great deal. Now this is it slowed down. You can see just a little bit there. Yeah, that was that was what I ended up using. And we'll have a look at it now at 1000 RPM. I think that's a bit of an old adhesive or something on the outside of the stock. But you can see it's really not bouncing around very much. Looks terrible because of the way the thread has put a chamfer on the front end there. But the lathe is really not bouncing around at all. Now we've just finished making this part. Doing back up to 3000 RPM using a 35 degree. FC chip breaker insert by Sumitomo. They're a ground insert, very sharp. I use them as general purpose inserts. No idea why this is going so dark. I think I must have had the ISO on the camera set to automatic or something. I don't normally do that. I normally have everything in manual. There you go, and that's how the parts came out. Thank you for watching.